Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Since update 14 and the arrival of the Maelstroms, the Thargoid Maelstroms, we think are attached to the Stargoids, there's been an awful lot of chit-chat about what's going on inside them. When you approach them, you do start to incur an awful lot of caustic damage. There are what we call caustic generators inside them, small mine-like devices spewing forth the Thargoid caustic guft. There's nice lighting effects and, and red hues that we haven't really seen before because green is typically synonymous with the Thargoid. However, if you do go in there and you venture into a Maelstrom, you can shoot some of these caustic generators and gain some new materials. These new materials will probably be used for more items in-game. Let's take a look, see how you get them and what's involved. As I mentioned, the colour green seems to be synonymous with Thargoids and caustic damage in the Elite Dangerous Universe and Galaxy. Now, with the arrival of Update 14, we're getting these Maelstroms. The Maelstroms with a different colour planet. More reds, more oranges, lots of lightning, but just as dangerous. Inside, you're going to find interceptors, if you can actually get there without being destroyed and being interdicted on the way. Also, in addition to these interceptors, you're going to find caustic generators. Little mines look like caltrops a little bit, if you know what I mean. And they're spewing forth this Thargoid guff. So this needs a ship build. A ship build to go in there that we can get in there, destroy these caltrop-like devices, these caustic generators, and hopefully pick up some materials. It's going to be a long, arduous process. And if you haven't got a, a pure engineered ship, then be prepared to see the rebuy screen quite a few times. Here's my build. So this is the ship that I'm going to be using to farm my caustic mechanisms and caustic shards that we get out the Maelstrom. It's an assault ship, Federation assault ship. Tough old thing at the best of times. So what have I done? Well, my main weapon is going to be the beam laser. 3C, got the modifications on there, long range weapon. I haven't really engineered it up that much to be perfectly honest, just enough to get me in the game and it's got thermal vent on it. Now the good thing about this is, is that thermal vent, yes we all know thermal vent reduces your temperature, but going into the maelstrom, I'm going to start incurring caustic damage and I'll be able to burn that off really quickly by just pointing it into space and firing it. And that's going to increase my temperature of the ship and burn off that Thargoid caustic damage as quick as you like. Now, I've got some of these AX multi-enhanced cannons here, and I think, oh, well, you know, you're not really a combat ship. I'm not really a combat ship, but I am going to be interdicted quite a bit between where my carrier's parked and into the Thor Maelstrom. I may have to defend myself. Now, I don't mind taking out a few scouts and picking up some of their materials as well, so that's why I'm doing that. What else have I got? Right, so at the moment I've got heat sink launchers. These are the unengineered type. I haven't actually been to the serious ships yet to get the engineered ones, and I need some materials to do it. And I've gone for a pulse wave analyzer as well. Now this pulse wave analyzer, normally we use this for mining, don't we? But by firing off the pulse inside the Maelstrom, it does reveal some of the caustic generators, okay? So what have I got inside here? Military grade uh, composite for, for my armor. Um, or for my hell, I should say. I haven't done any, any engineering on that yet, so I could be a bit better. I've got a power plant, a 5A there, overcharged and monstered. These are one of the power plants that we got from some of the community goals. 6A thrusters, bit of engineering done on that, dirty drive tuning, because I need to be able to boost out the way pretty quick. Got me frame shift drive, blah de blah. Life support, nice and light. Power distributor, again, there you go. Um, sensors. See, the sensors I've got here, lightweight. I really could do with something long range on that, but we'll see how it goes. This is the build of the ship that I'm using. Uh, you may have better builds. So what have I done in here? Hull reinforcement. Oh, yes, I've gone for some of that. And it's got quite two pips of reinforcement there. I've got a little bit of cargo uh, for my limpets. Again, 4D hull reinforcement, four pips there. I've got 
module reinforcement because I realised I needed to protect my modules. Things were failing left, right and centre. It, it was starting, getting to be off-putting. I've got some heavy-duty reinforcement there on the 4D. I've got a collector limpet 3B. Now, why 3B? 3B because it's got the maximum range, 1,540. I need a bit of range because these things will explode and then shoot their bounty off into space. I've got a frame shift drive booster to get me there. As soon as I'm in system, it's going to rot because it has the same Proteus effect um, around a Maelstrom or in the system of the Maelstrom anyway. Decontamination limpet controller because, well, I thought it might help. Uh, I've got an anti-corrosion cargo rack simply because I had one knocking about a little bit of cargo space and I got a planetary approach suite which I'm not going to need right not going to need but it's just there so job done in fact you know what you know it's a required module I can't get rid of it uh, there you go so that's my build now it's not bad it's not bad at all right um, I've had Varying levels of success with this. I mean, I think Frontier at the moment don't want us in there, right? And it's eating through hulls left, right, and centre. So we're going to go and give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a go. Here we are uh, from the Coal Two Eight Five Sector IG Dash Zero C Six Dash Five, and this is the home, right, of the Thor Maelstrom. So we're going to plot our, our route there. Twenty-four light years, no dramas. Let's get in there. Well, jumping into any Thargoid controlled system or area now is going to incur interdictions. Not only interdictions as you jump into the system, as you can see here, I've been mugged off by two interceptors, but also you're going to get interdicted in system as well. They're going to pull you right out of frame shift. Woo! I tell you what, that's something to behold. And whether you stand and fight, is up to you. I've had limited success doing that because these are angry Thargoids, I'll tell you that. Or whether you're just going to turn tail and run. Hence the need for good boost. And probably uh, an engineered power distributor to allow you to maintain that boost as well. So you're going to look at drag drives, you're going to look at dirty drives and a good engineered power distributor. Now on approach to the Maelstrom, I have found as well that even dropping heat sinks generally means nothing. It's very hit and miss. If they want to pull you out, they'll pull you out and they'll try and mug you off. So anyway, here we are approaching Maelstrom Thor. Backed with a lovely sort of like ammonia based planet. There's the Maelstrom that's like a big old guffed cloud, a blot on the landscape of, of that planet. But as you get closer, you know, it's not just any old blot. It's a good old gaseous cloud of which you can't really get too far into without incurring too much damage and too much attention from the Thargoids inside. Now my plan, the first part of this, is to scout round the outsides of this. Um, I've got my beam laser deployed, I've got my enhanced AX multi cannons, but they're going to be no good in here. I'm just going to use good old beam laser. Hitting the pulse wave, as you can see, pulls up these sort of caltrop type caustic generators. Shooting these is what's going to give us the caustic mechanisms. These caustic mechanisms we're going to collect as well. So I've got my um, 1B collector limpets on the go. 2B or 3B collector limpets, whatever I've got attached it, 3B I think, which gives me um, longer range. But as you go in, you start shooting these caustic generators, bad good caustic generators, you get too close to them, they'll knock you back and then knock the materials further away from you. So generally, if you go and you approach one of these caustic generators, here it is, and you can't target them, you've got to line these up manually, right? So you've got to get a bit closer and they're going to move about as well. And they're going to spew forth this caustic gas, which is going to start eating into your hull. Also, as you know, right, anything that comes close to a Maelstrom, even in the system, is going to start degrading Guardian technology as well. So any Guardian kit like FSD um, boosters, they're going to be virtually useless and they're going to be damaged beyond repair. As you can see, I've hit one then, I've incurred a bit of caustic damage, got a bit too close. But as you then start to think, well, okay, well, where's all these materials gone? Why haven't my limpets sprung into action? That's typically down to the fact that 
they're outside the Limpets range, even of the 1,570, um, I think, kilometres that you get even with the Class B Limpets. So, there you go. I've got corrosive mechanisms, there's a caustic shard knocking about, and target them. I'm going to have to just dive in there with the cargo scoop open and see if I can pick them up and just take the damage on the chin just to gain the materials. Now, this might not be the best way. It's the way I'm using it. It's the expensive way of using it. Certainly up until the point where Frontiers say, yes, well, we really want you in these, in these maelstroms as well. You can see an interceptor floating around. Typically, they don't get involved with me. I just get out of the way. They seem to be uninterested and unbothered with the, you know, snooping commander inside these maelstroms. It's almost as if they're going to say, hey, well, you're going to die if you stay in here too long anyway. I'm not even going to bother. As you can see, my limpets are now starting to pick up the corrosive mechanisms and the caustic chards. And as I get closer to those materials, I'm able then to go and get them collected. So, typically that's what I've been doing. Now, what I've found with this is very hit and miss. Sometimes you can get a decent haul, when I say a decent haul, 15 to 20 of these said materials, depending on how lucky you are. If you skirt around the outsides of the Maelstrom, certainly you're going to be able to pick up some items if you're lucky. But then I find you shoot the caustic generators and you're having to dive in a bit further as well. After decontamination limpets, they kind of just buy you a little bit more time, not much. Using the old beam laser with thermal vent, shooting into space, raises your temperature of your ship quite considerably. You only get the cooling sensation or the cooling effect if you actually hit a particular item. So that's pretty good for generating heat and burning off some of that caustic damage. But, like I say, it's an arduous process at the moment. It's not particularly easy. I don't say it's particularly enjoyable, but it seems to be one of these necessary evils if you want to try and get ahead of the game and you want to start collecting the caustic mechanisms and caustic shards. Now, as I mentioned, these seem to be used for caustic sinks. Now, these aren't in-game yet. When Update 14 dropped, it was in the right-hand panel, in the uh, manufacturing sort of like section of things, where you make your heat sinks, where you make your new ammunition, that sort of stuff. Yeah. So... What I'm saying is that even though they've taken that out, we're going, to need, we're going to need these things for something. I dare say we're also going to need those unidentified artifacts that people have been placing inside um, Thargoid machinery as well. So it's worthwhile stocking up on them. So typically that's what I've been doing. Corrosive mechanisms. You will, once you get there the first time, uh, be flagged with a message that says, hey, this is a new material. Great, brilliant. Embrace that. Take it, have a look, see what the old um, pilot's log says. You know, what does the codex say about this? And also have a look around and see how other people in the community are also harvesting these new materials. Now, with this ship, as you can see, I'm incurring an awful lot of damage. That's fine by me. It's a 2.3 million rebuy. It's not the cheapest you can possibly do. And if you went in there with a bigger ship, you've got to weigh the cost that, well, you're going to have to start coming out of the maelstrom and then hopefully not get interdicted getting back to your carrier right for a repair or just writing the ship off and just going through it burning through it and collecting the materials that you need anyway that's my point of view on caustic materials the caustic crystals and the caustic mechanisms in the maelstroms in elite dangerous i've been ricardo hope you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon